Okay. And we're gonna go down to the uh, creek to my cabin. It's supposed to rain someday. I'm gonna carry my backpack, but I think we're just gonna cook. I got a new solo stove from a special person. And I'll explain that when we get down there. And um, uh, let's go down there and let's cook. I got some stuff. We went to a place called Christian Meats. And they have all kind of meats in there. And I got some uh, ham and on um, different stuff. And um, uh, I put a lot of it in the freezer to use on a lot of food. But let's get down there to the creek and uh, uh, get to cooking. traps that I made. Got fishing line on. I moved the camera up a little bit closer. Alright, so what I want to do today is I'm gonna, me and Rhonda purchase some land and some real estate. And the, la the lady that helped us is Julie Russell and she's from a, I think it's Keller Williams. Let me make sure. Keller Williams, but uh, her and her husband, they're super great people. We went to church with them for years. But anyway, we was wanting to purchase some, some real estate and we called her and um, man, she's amazing. She makes she makes the process easy for you. I mean, you don't have to do hardly anything. She handles everything. It just makes a smooth transition to, to, to make your purchase. Of whatever and then I'm sure she could find you stuff and stuff too but she's just amazing and if I you know and anyway when we purchased it and then we closed now she brought me a gift and look it's a solo stove she knew that this this property I was wanting to camp and camp out and stuff like that on it she bought me a solo stove amazing so I'm gonna put her card up and on so, you know, if you, anybody around my local area, or I guess anywhere, if you need to do any kind of uh, real estate, uh, you know, real estate buying or looking for or whatever, give, uh, give her a call. She's amazing. And um, she just makes everything easy. And um, she's a super great person. Her and her husband both, they're super great people. But anyway, we're gonna, I wanna cook on this solo stove because she bought me this or gave it, gifted it to us this morning after we got through with all the closing and all, and then I got, she also gave me some pellets to go in it. So that's what we're gonna do today, and we're gonna cook us a meal with this thing. So it's really cool. I took it apart up at the house, and um, I may have to put a bar or something across the top. I don't know if it'll smother the fire the way this is made. Which, you know, y'all know I've got that little solo stove built into my thing. I just want to use this one since she gave it to me. Gifted it to us. You pop these out for the stand under it. And then you put this on it, just like that. And then this goes on top. So I may have to put a bar or something across it so the pan doesn't smother the fire out. But we're going to get the pellets and get in there. And get I think we'll get her skillet out of the... Uh, use our skillet out of the uh, building, but we're going to put these pellets in there. It is hot today. I was up there cutting grass earlier. That's weird, I've never used these before. It looks just like rabbit, what we used to feed rabbits. Premium wood fuel pellets. And I've always wanted to try this, so it's really gonna be cool. I got this piece of cotton. I'm gonna put this in there. And uh, I also brought my New little device that I've been using. This thing. 
and I brought a little piece of fat wood. This thing's really cool. It's like a little cheese grater. So anyway, really you, you just take a piece of fat wood, just like cheese or something. It's pretty cool. I am sweating. See what we got. Look at there. Things full of little shavings. We're gonna. Pull this apart real good. Put it down in his pellets. Put these in there. Hope y'all can see that. And then, I'm going to start it. There we go, just a striker. This thing's really neat. So we'll see how that's, how quick the pellets start up. I was just curious about that, if I need to add anything or if they'll, they'll just start burning. I brought a, uh, Just in case that smothers it out, I brought this little stand. I thought maybe I could set it up there like that or something. It's what I use for my transia stove. But yeah, let me get my skillet in the in there. <clears throat> uh oh, chair's falling over there. I'll, we'll use the, my big skillet today. Oh. Save my Carolina Chris skillet. I also got a a little uh, gri gr grill right there. I could set it on top of it too. I just don't know if it'll smother. Set this transia little thing on it. That'll keep it up enough. I think it won't smother. Yeah, it's burning good. Okay, here we go. All right, let's get my cook set out. Put some oil in the skillet. This is my food. Let's see what we got here. Oh, let's cut this ham first. I've been wanting to get in there. This is my neck knife that I got from Charlie Lumpkin at Rustic Iron Knives. He sent that to me when I completed the Georgia Woodsman uh, Challenge items. It's really cool. If y'all interested in that kind of stuff, you can go on the Georgia Woodsman, and they got a list of things you can do to qualify to be a to do a basic. He's got one that's even more than the basic, but uh, you got to sleep on the ground in a like a a leaf shelter or something. And I I ain't doing that during the summer. Look at this piece of ham. I got this at Christian Corner Meats this morning. I got a lot of food. Look at that. Woo -wee. This is, uh, see what this said this is. This is biscuit slices. It's, uh, country ham. 
salt, white sugar, brown sugar, sodium, and um, so it's got brown sugar and all on it. I got my salt and pepper. I guess I need to get a plate today because normally I fold this up, but I'm gonna leave it flat and use it for a plate, just a flat plate. Thank you, Julie, for the solo stove. It works. I mean, this thing is working like a champ. I gotta watch this skillet. It may get hot. It may not be like, uh... This may end up being little pieces of ham. It looks like it is. Ooh, this, thing, this is gonna be good. I even got bologna. I got bannock. Cheese. And I got bologna. We're gonna cut it right here. On my board. And I got an open with knife, but we're just gonna mm. I'm throwing that in the fire pit. I ain't throwing it in the I'll cut it into four. I'm on. I'm gonna quarter it. Mmm, gonna be good. Look at them flames coming out from under it. Them flames is coming all out from under that thing. This thing getting hot. Look at that. <laughs> that solo stove is cranked up, baby. Putting jalapenos in there. Y'all know I gotta have them. Ooh, it burnt the hair on my arm. Ooh. Oh, taking my breath, the jalapenos are. Okay, I took that off. Let's get my bannock put on there. I just put some oil in the skillet. Look at that solo stove going. Hey, hey. I made this at home. It's just flour, salt, and pepper. I'll be able to make a little bit bigger one. Just like the skillet's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make it a little thicker than I normally do. I got some cheese. I may put it on there too after I get it. Here we go. Here we go. Little solo stove works good. I don't know how long. I have to look at the time when I do the video. I'll look, see how much footage I got to see how long the burn time is on these pellets. But I probably didn't put a Maybe a half a cup, quarter of a cup. It's smoking a little bit, but man, it looks good. So I'm just gonna take this thing off now. Woo, it's ready. And uh, set it right here. Whoop. 
Oh, I almost dropped it. Let me move this stuff over. Over here. Move this over here. There we go. Now we're talking. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the camera up and show you these coals. Look at that. I don't want the camera to get too hot, but uh, them things are still, are still hot. Woo! Now it's time to eat. Woo, this is gonna be, that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Let's see. Use my knife. In that skillet, it's gonna stay hot for a while, so. Look at that. I broke it, and it's just like, it's just like a piece of bread in the inside. It's amazing, because I always thought you had to bake, but uh, fried bread? seen the guy on Outdoor Boys doing it all the time. And it's actually flaky. And then I got, let me get my, this is my special fork. I love this thing. Look at this. Bologna and bread and jalapenos. Oh, I got some cheese to put on there, but I may just put it on the bread when I'm eating the bread. Mmm. Jalapenos. And bread. Hmm. I bought me a green tea. It's too hot to make coffee today. So I hope y'all ain't mad at me. But this solo stove, this thing is awesome. I like it. And um, here's the pellets. And I probably put a half a cup in there, and that right there will still cook a long time. I probably put too many. Next time I'm gonna put a quarter of a cup, which I cooked a good bit of food. I could still make my coffee on it. Uh, and this thing's a stove, so I could put this maybe. I'm gonna read it up and stuff. You might put it in a tin or something if you put something tin to set it on. And that thing puts out some heat, and it's, it's burning for a, a while. But anyway, I'm gonna clean up and. Um, I'm gonna have some quiet time. That's why I'm down here. And um, I always keep my Bible in my pack so I can do that. So uh, I'm not gonna bore y'all with my eating because the last video when I was editing, I was sitting there smacking, talking, talking with my mouth full, and I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna eat this good food, have my quiet time, and then uh. I'll close this thing out, but uh, thanks for being here. And if you if you in some real estate doing something like buying or selling, give Julie a call. Man, she's she's wonderful. I'll put her card up here on the screen. But anyway, keep God first. Creek Camper out. We finally got through Psalms, and we're now in Proverbs. You know. We're moving along as the church, you know, we read through. I've, I've told y'all this before, but but uh, I had a, somebody ask me what we was reading. Uh, but uh, usually when I'm doing my quiet time, I'm just catching up on uh, where we read through the Bible. And we have so many verses a day. And on kind of the church kind of reads together. We all have the same schedule. So it, work, it, it works out good. It gives you a little bit of a incentive to read, I guess, but you should read every day, and I know I say that every time, but anyway, thanks for watching. Creek Camper out.